Moncrief on News Talk. Brought to you by Avant Money. Think you're getting the best value from your bank? Think again. Now, what would you do if you woke up and found out you had become the world's first trillionaire? That is what happened to Christopher Williamson, who had invested just $20 into Rocket Bunny and woke up the next morning to find he had become a trillionaire overnight only to discover that the whole thing was a technical glitch. Christopher Williamson from Georgia in the USA joins me now. Hello, Christopher. How are you? Hello. Talk us through that morning. You woke up, rubbed your eyes, checked your phone, as most people do, uh, to find a 13-figure sum awaited you. Uh, Yes. Uh, Well, (laughs) I kind of actually, I I thought I was dreaming at first, so I sat my phone down and, and kind of rolled back over in bed. And then when I realized I wasn't. I grabbed my phone again. And as I started to try to get out of bed, I actually hit the floor <laughs> and, and fell. So it, it was in a, a pretty eventful morning. <laughs> now, when I say dabbled in, in cryptocurrency, it was a, a $20 investment on a site called Rocket Bunny. So it was quite a leap to uh, over a trillion dollars, really, wasn't it? It was, but what I've tried to explain, um, you know, to people about that, you know, people that don't understand, you know, cryptocurrency, they they hear the the word twenty dollars, and it doesn't seem like much. But when you buy into a new project or a new coin um, when they first come out, twenty dollars can buy you, you know, a trillion coins or more. So you know, when you do the math on that as that coin grows, you know, you're gonna you know, you're going to make a a substantial amount of money if that coin takes off. So you were hoping that this was your genuine bank balance, but unfortunately you've been told it's a glitch in the system. So how did that come about? How was this explained to you? Well, it it wasn't really explained at first. Um, You know, when I got to my desk and, and my buddy and I got on the phone and we were trying to figure out what was going on, his bank his wallet was not reflecting what mine was showing and we both bought the same contract. So that's when we got in touch with Coinbase and Coinbase's response was not very helpful at all. And we really didn't get the email stating it was a glitch until a few days later. Have you sought any legal advice to see if you could possibly have any ownership of of this balance at all? Uh, at this time, I, I can't speak about that, um, but, you know, at a later date, I, I, I would, I, I can't possibly speak about that. But right now that I can't talk about that. <laughs> well, look, chances are it's one of those terms and conditions that we all click and don't read somewhere along the line. It says, you know, mistakes can happen and they're not liable. But we leave that as it, as it is at the moment. So you're still working through it all. You've even emailed Elon Musk for his advice on how to handle large quantities of cash. Have you had anything back? No, when I did that, um, I, I really wasn't like looking for Elon's advice. It was more of a trolling thing with him. Um, you know, I... I I love Elon Musk and what he does. And, um, you know, I love how he kind of trolls Twitter um, every once in a while. But it was mainly just a poke. <laughs> and, um, you know, that that's about it. We right now, um, if if I had to say anything about Elon, we would actually ask him to stop tweeting about uh, cryptocurrency. So <laughs> he's not a very good, uh, a very big help with the crypto world right now. And the media attention that has come on you has had a bit of a, a, a knock on effect on, on cryptocurrency. Yes. Yes, ma'am. For a lot of it, there, there, there's been some panic. A lot of that also came from um, this issue in China with the bank uh, banning cryptocurrency. Um, you know, it all that, and that really hit at a bad time because, uh, you know, we we were kind of scrolling through the forums yesterday and people were like, basically blaming me for the crash and I was like oh no no it's not not what I need so (laughs) um but it's other than that rocket bunny itself the actual coin during that crash um they they stayed in the green so I mean it's the media attention has been great for them um and you know it's but for the market it wasn't you know too too great (laughs) 
Well, are you're a pains to say as well that, that, that Rock and Bunny have done nothing but good stuff for you and helped you and are totally free from blame when it comes to the technical glitch. You're a student nurse, uh, Christopher. So what would a substantial return on your cryptocurrency investment mean to you? You know, when I got into this, it was just really for me to have something to do during the pandemic. And, you know, if it helped, if it paid off and, you know, I would have paid off student loans and then, of course, used the rest of that money to possibly open up free clinics and stuff here in the States. But, you know, it's even if that would have been true or, you know, maybe one day something does hit, I would always be a nurse. There, there, there would be no lifestyle change for me because that's just who I am. You know, I'm, I would live a normal life and continue nursing. So. OK, so it sounds to me like your head is still spinning a little from the whole thing and the, the end result is still a little up in the air. It was a life changing amount of money you first saw. Do you think this could even be a, a life changing glitch? You know, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm keeping my faith with that and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say I've, I've prayed about it. and I'm keeping my faith on that one. <laughs> Keep the dream alive. Christopher Williamson yes. from Georgia in the USA perhaps the world's first trillionaire, if even for a moment or two. Thanks very much for talking to us today. Bye-bye. Moncrief on News Talk. Brought to you by Avant Money. Think you're getting the best value from your bank? Think again.